Baro era konama al ne nika soti sigile be kaeta kayirala ale makala me na ye kayirala ka jayirala aba afamia oko so na fa badi be disena jan ni kelila Women in Africa do most of the farm work to produce food. They also sell staple food crops such as groundnuts and beans for cash. Their efforts improve the income, health and nutrition of the entire family and allow boys and girls to go to school. But despite their hard work, women's fields are often unproductive. This is not surprising, given that women often have less access to land and to agricultural inputs, services and information. Food production in women's fields could easily increase if we paid attention to gender when dealing with these four areas. Demand for training and advice. Extension methods and content. Access to land, inputs and credit access to markets. Let's look at these one by one and get inspired by examples from across Africa. First, articulate and respond to women's demand for training and advice. I a bate anka nyukon don a babara ke chuko nyukon ya amma do ba do 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 fana to do bo si fana a ba si fana a batu anka nanye sila je fana nyuma min be sila am be de ko fo bo ni ba bara ke usana ele ibo si nyuma ta ko ki yere ko o i bara di ayro do yi strengthening women's organizations provides a solid foundation to letting their voices be heard. Yet extension services are traditionally male-dominated and are not used to listening to and responding to women's aspirations. So changing the attitudes of male extension agents is essential, as we hear from Mohamed Sumare, the national coordinator of the Farmer Field School program in Mali. <laughs> L'aspect genre même, c'est un des modules de la formation des facilitateurs. Et là, on fait appel à des spécialistes qui viennent entretenir régulièrement, pratiquement à chaque session de formation, les facilitateurs, pour que davantage, ils accordent plus d'importance à l'aspect genre. Ce qui fait que les facilitateurs même se sont rendus compte. Il y a beaucoup de choses qui se disent dans les champs écoles, on trouve que les femmes sont tellement attentives qu'elles prennent tellement de notes jusqu'à ce que les femmes ont été celles qui ont pu produire le maximum de résultats. Donc là, ça a été beaucoup euh, salué et reconnu pratiquement par tous les hommes, les facilitateurs, lors des sessions de formation euh, des formateurs. As African women participate in nearly all activities of most crops, they need training on all farming matters. This is especially true with men moving to the cities looking for jobs, leaving many rural households in Africa headed only by women. Pour davantage prendre en compte l'aspect genre, nous avions aussi renforcé les capacités des femmes sur toute la filière. 
donc pratiquement de la préparation du sol jusqu'à la commercialisation pratiquement des produits. Nous, avons, nous sommes allés dans l'approche filière en renforçant les capacités des femmes dans tous les maillons. Deciding on how best to engage women in extension brings us to the second dimension, namely to adapt extension methods and content to women's needs. Recruiting more female extensionists can improve services for women. Also, the timing of a training event has a strong influence on women's ability to attend. Women are the busiest people in the village, with responsibilities for crops, animals, children, and preparing social events. Consult women's groups to find out the best time for them to attend training. And remember to be on time. They don't have all day. Women are highly motivated to learn and easily share knowledge via their friends and relatives. But women to women extension is often hindered. Some communities discourage women from traveling beyond their own village. To overcome this, you can use radio and video. Make sure to broadcast radio programs when rural women have time to tune in. By organizing village video shows in the evenings, entire families can watch and discuss them. Use gender-sensitive extension materials to obtain a more balanced discussion between men and women participants. Show the extension materials to men and women farmers and get their feedback. Then edit the materials before publishing them. When showing a rough edit of a video on soil fertility management, women said that they only have manure from small livestock to improve their soil, as cattle are owned by men. The review exercise resulted in more goats and sheep being included in the final version of the video. Avoid long written texts with few illustrations or diagrams full of symbols, since women have fewer opportunities to go to school than men. Discovery-based learning exercises and visual tools inspired farmer groups in Mali to experiment with integrated soil fertility management. To improve food production, apart from capacity building, you might need to enhance women's access to land, inputs and credit. To give women an incentive to invest in soil fertility measures that work on the longer term, such as green manure, facilitate discussions on who owns the land, and makes decisions on its use. Miyamo dua me agbebe do dure pomo puro nyamo nyamanti le miyamo dua mu. Eto be anyigba to zo anyigba to. Wale mi pa mu kuna ne ne bia un ne ne kwela siwa na mo do buta me. Wa gbo bo no dipo ya mu. Se le potre u no kwe na mo do ano vonu un tipo a wa gbo be un ne kmara la jipo a ya jo ezu be eja ya dudu me ma. As women and men also have different access to animal manure, 
help them to talk about ways of sharing this resource for the benefit of the whole family. The private sector can make seed and mineral fertilizer available in small quantities in rural shops or markets. Les petites quantités, c'est pour attirer beaucoup de femmes. Parce que les femmes n'ont pas beaucoup d'argent. Et quand vous faites des petits paquets, c'est à leur portée. Le peu d'argent que les PC payer, soit les semences améliorées, soit les engrais. Et c'est pourquoi nous, on utilise les petits paquets. Et puis, on a des points de vente au niveau village. C'est pour rapprocher aux femmes. At the start of the season, Farmers need money to invest in agriculture, but many are afraid to take credit. Microcredit and revolving funds help to address this. In Mali, some farmers have started to gradually put aside small amounts of money by buying special scratch cards in their local shop. The money is transferred to their personal account using a mobile phone and is assigned for seed, fertilizer, training and advice. I am going to go to the hospital. 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 Investing in soil fertility may also require improving women's access to markets. Introducing crops that enrich the soil and generate income may require training in processing and marketing, not just in how to grow the crop. Find ways to help women seize profitable opportunities in the value chain. Une femme, je crois que tout ce qu'on peut faire pour une femme, c'est de lui chercher des activités qui peuvent lui faire des revenus. Et grâce à ces revenus, elle sera indépendante financièrement. Quand elle arrive à payer les engrais, mettre ça dans, ses, dans son champ, et elle va surprodu surproduire et les excédents. Elle peut vendre. Elle peut vendre ses excédents. Elle garde une partie pour la consommation de la famille. Elle peut vendre une partie pour entretenir ses enfants. To improve soil fertility and food production in Africa, support clearly has to go beyond technical advice on integrated soil fertility management. Remember, we need to be creative and proactive about gender when dealing with these four areas. Demand for training and advice extension methods and content, access to land, inputs and credit, access to markets. Keeping gender in mind is one thing, addressing them yet another. As the many examples in this video have shown, good results are often obtained through partnerships.